morning, Tri-C. This is Mrs. Barbie, and today is Wednesday, April 15th. We don't have any Tri-C birthdays to celebrate today. However, there is a birthday that took place on April 15th, 1452. He was a famous painter. He studied architecture. He was an inventor. He was the painter of the Mona Lisa. That's right. Today is Leonardo da Vinci's birthday. It's time for a moment of silence, so if you would, please join me. All right, so looking back in history, 1802, a brother and a sister had decided to uh, settle in a cat in a cottage. Um, it was very plain, did not have any kind of electricity or running water like we have today. And uh, the brother thought of it as plain living, but high thinking. Having that plain living and high thinking time, it would allow him to study his writing and work on writing. Well, William and Dorothy, that was the brother and sister, decided to go on a walk one day, April 15th in 1802. And as they were walking, they came across this lake, and by this lake was this beautiful path of daffodils. It was so beautiful that that evening when Dorothy got home, she wrote about it in her diary. Later on, a few years later, William decided to write a poem about the daffodils that his sister Dorothy had written about in her diary. That became one of his most famous poems. The poet was William Woodsworth. I wandered lonely as a cloud that floats on high o'er vales and, and hills, when all at once I saw a crowd, a host of golden daffodils, beside the lake, beneath the trees, fluttering and dancing in the breeze. That's the first stanza of his poem. That made me have a connection. You know, when we have those connections, when we read something or learn about something, when I was learning a little bit about the author, he had made a comment that during that having that plain living time in that little cottage gave him time to have high thinking. So plain living, but high thinking. And I have the connection that right now, while we're at our homes, um, we have time to do some high thinking. So use those brains and, and put those brains to work and take this time to, to be creative. We have also had some other cool things happen in history. In 1947, Jackie Robinson, number 42, played his very first Major League Baseball game with the Brooklyn Dodgers. And in 1956, NBC station in Chicago decided to broadcast all in color. That's all I have for announcements. Turning it over to you, Mr. Owens. Thank you, Mrs. Forby. Good morning, boys and girls. Mrs. Forby, I love that concept of high thinking. This time away has given all of us some extra time to read a book maybe we didn't have time to get to or to research some things and uh, be creative and do some things that we normally don't have time in our busy daily schedules for. One thing I have done is I've started taking some online guitar lessons, which has been very difficult for me, but I've had a guitar for a long time and never invested the time to play it. I'm getting better, not quite good enough to share with all of you yet, but maybe we'll get there by the time our closure's over. So we'll see. Parents, we apologize for running out of packets on the bus yesterday. We made a few adjustments and uh, ended up running out. So what we will do is we'll reload those crates today and have those packets available during our bus routes. I've also attached a link to a survey on today's announcements. If you will fill that out just to give us an idea of where you pick the uh, packets up, how many from each grade level that you're taking, and we will make our copying more efficient as we roll out some new resources on Monday. We have quite a few people who have joined the Book of Success, so let me read those off to you. First is Haley Martin. Haley keeps leveling up in kids A to Z and Letterland, soaring through her work, sharing pictures with her proud smile at each milestone. Keep up the good work, Haley. The following students are crushing it on kids A to Z almost daily, working on their goals. Ber Berlia Marizio, Avery Remini, Ethan Samples, Mikey Pinnock, Danny Silva, Liam Beckham, and Maya Gully from Mrs. Webb's class. Thank you, boys and girls, and Mrs. Webb. From Mrs. Cook's class, Emmanuel Edwards, Madalena Castillo, Aliyah Wade, excuse me, Max Rhodes, Harper McCann, Grayson Kirschbaum, and Kylie Kraft 
have also been working on Kids A to Z, other apps, and the papers that we are sending in the paper packet. Great job, Mrs. Cook and students. Participating in a Zoom meeting from Mrs. Fields' room were Vera Hayano, Charlie Gandremus, Olivia Nelson, Anna Hubbard, Bryce Peck, Chase Combs, Bella Seaver, Lily O'Brien, Levi Dodson, Trey Gillespie, and Elijah Teal. Mrs. Fields shared some pictures of that with me, and they did some awesome drawings, so keep up the good work, boys and girls. And finally, from Ms. Gravatt's classroom, they had a Zoom meeting yesterday morning, and it turned into a pet show. Ms. Gravatt was able to see some of the pets of her students at their houses. Harper Matthews, Evan Campbell, Sophie Hornick, Jude Farina, Crosby Tanner, Liam Mitchell, Braden Wallen, and Charlie Swink. That's all we have for our Book of Success and our announcements today. We'll see you back bright and early tomorrow. Have another great day. Thanks.